to getting to Inner Awakening, I've always wanted to attend Inner Awakening and this is how I was able to do it. At first I had the, the intention of attending Inner Awakening and I sent an intention form to Swamiji where he blessed it and then miraculously just things happened where a uh, job situation was resolved, I was able to um, coordinate and rearrange my schedule and get a month off and of course the finances, the money to actually pay for the program all came about and all by simply starting off by sending in a very simple uh, intention form to Swamiji. Prior to getting to an awakening I was looking for uh, transformation say at a relationship for improve my relationships uh, my financial situation as well as say my health um, so far it's been about almost to the end of the program another two three days to go it's been the best thing I've ever done in my life I've done a lot of things but this is by far the thing that has transferred me personally um, some of the great some of the highlights of the uh, inner awakening were uh, one, of course, there's Swamiji, um, with the huge spiritual transformation, where he has improved my life in, in every dimension, especially the areas where I was looking for, which is um, relationships, wealth, health, and so on. But there's the spiritual dimension, which only a master like Swamiji can do. So er anyone thinking of doing Inner Awakening, I would highly recommend. First thing, if you have a thought about attending Inner Awakening, uh, simply fill out an intention form, send it in, you can get information uh, on the websites. And for me personally, it is by far the best thing I've ever done in my life. So In Awakening is the best program I would think in the world. I've done again, as I said, many different programs. Um, but this one has, of course, uh, Swamiji, Spiritual Enlightened Master. 
um, and all, all the other dimensions that you would get from all the different programs. So thank you and Nityana. I understand as commission, like when Swami explained what is karma and what I understood as commission is, any act you do which is against or which is not aligned to the purpose of your life is, is what I understood as commission. And what I understood as omission is any withdrawal, any kind of withdrawal from life, which from powerless space is what I understood as omission. What I feel is inspiration is your self-drive for what you feel as your life. Adding a point to what Aryatha Maharaj told, what I feel as inspiration is when you live the space of Shivoham and completion, when you live that so much and others see you that you're so happy. Like nothing just like touches you, you're just so happy and you're complete. So because of that, what it brings to others like when they think, wow, this person is really in the space of completion. Even I want to become like him. So that is what I think is inspiration. See, only when you have inspiration to do something, you can even move towards it. Suppose, for example, now you see Swamiji and you have an inspiration in life that you want to become like him. That is moving you ahead in life. If you have no one around you and you, you won't even have an idea what you have to be in life, you'll just be another animal. <laughs>